Connecting Central Texas, this is 25 News. Good evening, here is a look at your top stories. The soldier with Killeen ties who saved children during the El Paso Walmart shooting back on August 3rd has been arrested. Harker Heights police arrested Glenn and Oakley Jr. for a warrant on military desertion. Fort Hood is going to pick him up at the Bell County Jail in Fort Bliss. We'll handle it from there. After the shooting in August, Oakley was awarded the Army Commendation Medal for his bravery. Plus, plans to transform an historic Waco building are in the works. Set to open in 2021, downtown Waco's Grand Karim Shrine Building will soon be home to a three-story boutique hotel brought to Central Texas with help from Chip and Joanna Gaines. The city says people can expect more business driven more evenly across Waco's downtown as the Magnolia Hotel Partnership drives people further into the heart of the city. Now it's time for a check of your first alert forecast. Thanks, Ann. Let's take a look at that forecast. Subtle changes tomorrow. We will have a chance for a few scattered showers and storms tonight into Friday. About a 30 to 40 percent chance you'll get wet. Still better odds that you won't. High of 90 degrees Friday with a few more clouds around. 93 to 94 Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be hot this weekend. But by Sunday evening, a strong cold front works into the area. That'll drop us in the 60s Monday morning. Upper 70s for Monday afternoon. That's looking pretty nice with any showers coming to an end. Then we quickly warm up as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday, but by Thursday on into Friday, another cold front rolls in and that will bring more fall temperatures.